All right, guys, we are back in Washington. We are doing a weekly update. I love doing weekly updates, and I know there's a lot of hardcore fans out there that love when I do weekly updates, so I apologize. It's been a while. It is currently August 17th. It's almost 1 o'clock in the afternoon here. I got into Washington last night, and um, yeah, so now we're here. I know I would have done it last night, but I was up till like 3 in the morning doing stuff, so the upload is a little bit later, but it's a good upload, and I know this is going to get a lot of views. So uh, first of all, leave a like, and make sure you guys are subscribed for that new giveaway coming soon. But there is so much stuff here, so I don't even know where to start. I mean, we can talk about Hacksaw, we can talk about minifigures, printing, new helmets, zombie head packs. Um, there's just a lot to unpack, so I don't know how long this episode is going to be, so... Get yourself comfy and uh, let's just start with helmets because you can see there are a lot. I'm trying to think, let's see, uh, each bag, there's probably, let's see, there's, so each one of those bags, there's, I believe, 2,000 or 2,500. So let's just assume they're 2,000. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's 16,000 helmets, right? Eight times two. And then we've got probably 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15, 16. Okay, so 16. So there's another 8,000, right? If those are bags of 500, I don't know. I can't do math right now. But point is, look at all these helmets. These are so cool. I can't even explain how excited I am with somehow these. Like, look at those. Now, I posted on Instagram just now, and yeah, they're not accurate to, like, anything. Let me sit down here so I can get on a better level. They're not accurate to, like, anything, but they look awesome. They're going to be used as, um, I'm going to sell them probably in a mystery pack, but then also I'll probably be giving these away as freebies in some orders. So, I mean, we've got everything. So that's, like, transparent neon yellow. We've got... In here, we've got transparent neon orange. That's really cool. Oh, it looks like there's a... That's not supposed to be in there. But this is probably my favorite. This is like... This is actually hard to pick up on camera. Um, this is like neon light pink. Here's what one of them looks like. It looks so cool. That's like my... They look like candy. Like this looks like Jolly Ranchers or something. We've got glow in the dark. A lot of you guys wanted me to do glow in the dark. We've got normal pink here. Actually, the exposure on the camera is kind of tripping this out. Another one that people were excited about was just standard, like, army green. So you guys can make, like, toy soldiers now, which is going to be kind of cool. Um, clear is another really cool one. This is just a restock of tan because I was running low on tan. So those aren't new. We've got red. We've got... This is like a cyan swirl. You can see how some of those are kind of swirled. Those are pretty cool. We've got blue. Another fan favorite. These will actually be cool because the American M1 pot helmets, we can use those actually in this color. We could print like UN or um, military police or different things on these ones. So those are actually going to be kind of cool. We've got yellow. We've got like a neon orange. Another one that's going to be kind of cool is just straight up black. So those are going to be kind of cool. The stall helms on those are going to be kind of cool. Over there, we've got a purple mix. And then we've also got a bunch of, like, these are like all the swirls when you're making these helmets. So there's just, I mean, there is so many helmets here. It's quite ridiculous. Um, these are probably my favorite. These are the glow-in-the-dark transitions to pink colors. Um, then we've got, like, some more military color ones. So this is ODG to tan. So we got some really cool, like that Brody helmet there is really cool. If you guys want any of these specifically, feel free to DM me on Instagram. They're a dollar a piece. If you guys want like these ones, I ask that you buy a minimum of, let's do let's do 20 helmets, so 20 bucks. But uh, like, look at those. Some of those are really cool swirls. Um, some different ones. So there's just so much to unpack. These were kind of cool. This reminds me of like Christmas, like the red and the green. So those are cool. And then I took a handful of a couple of all the helmets and I put them in here. This is probably what you guys saw on Instagram and TikTok. But I mean, look at that. That's just, it's so colorful. It looks like, um, 
like just a bin of Lego parts, right? It's just a little bit of everything. And um, I mean, just some of these are just so cool. So I, I can't wait to start selling these. That's I just got to figure out how I'm going to sell them. And um, if you guys have any suggestions, let me know. I'm thinking for these, probably do like a pack of 20 helmets for $10. Um, I think that's the best way to do it. I already do that on my website, but a lot of the ones that are in that random head uh, or helmet pack are more like darker colors because these are all brand new. So if you guys have any ideas, uh, feel free to let me know in the comments down below, pretty please. So yeah, that's what we got going on there. And then over here, these are just gunmetal and olive drab green. So obviously, olive drab green was for the um, M1 pod helmets. Those are the most popular in that color because it is the most accurate. And then same with gunmetal was for the stall helms. And then, of course, I end up with the other colors of the helmets. So, yeah. So we got these almost sold out, but I was able to get this order and get these restocked in. So olive drab green M1 pod helmets and stall helms in gunmetal are in stock everything's in stock guys so definitely go eat it up and then of course like down here we've got of course like the brodies in tan and then the t90s in tan so all this stuff is on the website these are all made in washington state abs plastic and um just like lego parts and they are super awesome so yeah that's kind of that was a really long section of the video just to explain helmets but there's a lot of them and i think you guys would love that so I'm just going to kind of start showing some other stuff. Got some 2x2 two two bricks in. These are going to be for the mock. I, I don't want to talk too much about that because that's for the mock video. We also got some other parts for the mock. But once again, I don't want to talk too much about that because that's what those videos are for. Um, I got a bunch of bunch of minifigure parts coming in. So we got those. Um, we've got thousands of dark tan torsos showing up. Sand green, tan, dark bluish gray, dark green, um, more dark tan, more tan, um, olive green. So we've got a lot of parts coming in. What else do we got? What's in here? Yeah, I think there's a thousand, a thousand legs in there. I think there's 200 in there, a thousand heads. A thousand legs, some tiles, all sorts of stuff. So we're we're stocking up for something big, and I can't talk about it, but uh, let's just say it's going to be really cool. Also, I just realized I can finish these guys. So these, I think they're still in stock on the website, but now that I have those M1 pot helmets, I can package these up. So World, or not World War, um, Vietnam American soldiers are back. Um, I'm trying to think. Yeah, so all these helmets here... And then that bin under there is all helmets too. So, um, yeah. There is one thing that I can't show you guys that I really wish I could. Um, but um, you're just going to have to wait. And then in here, we've got a bunch of light blue gray heads. Now, these are going to be for a combination of things. They're going to be for a couple new head packs. I posted one on Instagram. It's a new zombie head pack. You guys are really excited about that. And then... A, a lot of these are also going to be used for individual heads, but also some new figures that I'm working on. So I stocked up on these. I think I've got a couple thousand more on the way, but um, there's probably 3,000 in here. So we've got a lot of these. So I go through these a lot. So these are really nice to have those. Um, I'm trying to think what else. Um, I honestly haven't been here in a while. So um, I'm trying to think. Uh, I can finally start working on these figures. I should put those aside. Um, yeah, I mean, I haven't been in here in, I don't know when the last time I was here, probably a month or two ago. But um, yeah, website obviously still up. My mom's helping me ship all the orders out. So appreciate that. And um, all the orders that are coming in, I really appreciate that. Another thing I did upgrade was some packaging on some of these figures. So now they come with a cool little collector card. So if you buy a figure like that, you will uh, still get a cool collector card. So yeah, I mean, I don't want to ramble on too much. Um, I thought there'd be more, but I can't talk about everything yet. There's a couple really cool things coming and I'm really excited about it. And um, I'm working on them like as we speak. So I just got to be patient and you guys got to 
just hang in there with me. But um, like I said, I am stocking up for something really big and it's going to be really awesome. So just hang in there with all of me. In the meantime, let me know how I should sell some of these helmets. Um, what the best way to do it is. I don't want to sell them individually. I think it would be more cool if we did like a random pack. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. We can figure that out together. And um, yeah, hit me up on Instagram if you guys need anything. Bricktactical.com. And um, yeah, guys, back in Washington. I'll be doing a lot of videos while I'm here. And I will see you guys in another video. Peace out.